Hmm. I just noticed the time doesn't exactly roll over. I, I got these backup files here just for the sake of recording and whatnot. But I noticed that it reset to zero when I saved back here then. And then it progressed as I defeated the Colossus. So, yeah, I guess it doesn't roll over. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Are you ready for Avion? Elemental Hero Avion? No, no, never mind. <laughs> so, um, this one does give you pr pretty lenient amount of time here, but it has an issue of its own in that you tend to kind of fall off it at random even when you're holding R1. I don't really understand why that happens. So this might take a couple of tries just because of that. <laughs> uh, plus the fact that it might do a lot of flips in the air, which can be an issue in itself. So yeah. Uh, anyway, the first thing you want to do to do this as fast as possible is to get in position by going for those straight ahead. See, you can, you can kind of tell um, it being over there, see it out of the water there. Yeah, it's, it's on top of that pillar. Well, we want to go over to this one right here and just, just to get ourselves in position right, right here because when we shoot our first arrow at the stinker, it is going to immediately dive bomb us. So there we go. Did it work? Yes, it did. Okay, get ready because this is a one hit kill if you do not get this right. Jump and grab. <laughs> Alright, so, uh, its weak points are exactly the same as it was in normal mode, so it's not really any harder. It's just that in time attack mode, you know, you gotta do it without falling off, otherwise you're gonna be... You're gonna be regretting it greatly! <laughs> because, yeah, um... Uh, stabilize, come on, man. <laughs> Because basically what we got to do here is we got to run and hit those spots as fast as we can while saving as much of our stamina as we possibly can along the way. Uh, I'm going to try and hit it twice along each particular run here. Like, I'm going to... There we go. That should get rid of it. There we go. Yep. Okay. Now I got to get back to the center, hopefully, to recover my stamina. And run, 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 okay, that's good. I wonder if I should just go for the tail, because the tail is easy to recover stamina on. It's probably the least risky out of all that, out of them all. But eh, I don't know. I'll do the wings first, I guess, because it's closest to me. <laughs> I've seen the flappiness coming. Yo, calm yourself, Avion. Calm yourself. Relax, relax the wings, just go into glide mode. There we go, glide mode, activate. Oh no! <laughs> Careful now. Get in position. Relax. Relax. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Start stabbing! Yeah! yeah. And I'm gonna try and stab while it does the flip like I did before. If at all possible, well, actually, maybe I'll actually go and recover stamina back at the center. It's easier to reco recover stamina at the center than it is on the tips of the wings because of all the movement. So yeah, like over, whoa, <laughs> over here is the safest portion of it. Basically, like right dead center in the back. Uh, run, 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 run. It's stabilizing. Oh wait, 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 wait! I don't want to take any unnecessary risks here because I know I got plenty of time. <laughs> And that takes care of the second one. Just do not let go. Um, sometimes Wander will randomly let go on his own, and that sucks for runs because, yeah, um, all your planning just goes to pot. <laughs> it, it's it's like you shouldn't have he shouldn't let go, but he actually lets go, and then your whole run just goes because you don't have time to get back on Avion by the time this is over. So. Yeah, you gotta do it pretty much all in one run. Come on, let me up, man. Stop fluttering your wings. Eh. Eh. I just need to get up and run to the center, and I pretty much got this. Uh, okay, 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 okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I made it to the fuzz. Now I just need to recover a little stamina. Right there is good. And then I'll start my run over to... I guess I can start while I'm recovering stamina, actually. 
Over to the tail. Yeah, this is the most stable portion of this whole thing, actually. Yeah, because there's not really all that many flips and stuff that he does while you're on his tail for some reason. Maybe because you're weighing it down, I don't know. But uh, yeah, as you can tell, I, I pretty much got this unless I randomly let go. Which shouldn't happen. There we go. <laughs> Woohoo! Yeah, that wasn't too difficult. Just just as long as Wander doesn't randomly let go, you shouldn't have too much difficulty with this one. You see how much time I had left over because it, the time takes into account that it might decide to do more flips or more shakingness, you know, to throw you off balance and stuff like that. So. That's that's why I have so much remaining time here, just in case that happens. The game actually took that into account for this one. So it's a pretty fair time attack, aside from the fact that you can fall off it, as I said before. So, and where where is... there they are! <laughs> so, yeah. Um, now, when we get back over to the Shrine of Worship, we are going to have yet another item to try out. Um... Minor spoilers, I guess I can say it now. Every two items, you get a special new... I mean, every two time attacks you beat, you get a special new item, basically. Alright, let's see what it is. Let's head on over there. And, of course, Agro isn't there to help me along for the ride. <laughs> oh, there you are. Oh, you just, you just came to walk along, didn't you? Didn't you? <laughs> Alright, let's take a grab Z and see what it is! No, no, I wanna... I want to grab Z, there we go. <laughs> what is it? What is it? What is it? That is the Sword of the Sun! It is able to gather light, even in places sunlight cannot reach. So basically, it's um, a more versatile beacon. Like, you know how you're not able to do the sword beam thing in certain areas because there's too much shadow? Well, you can do it now! <laughs> in fact, I'll be able to show you that uh, right now because I'm, I'm in shadow right now and it's gonna point me to the first Colossus here when I switch to sword and hold her up. And, uh, oh, what, what, what the? Do I not have enough sunlight in this particular area? Um... Uh, hmm, maybe I do not. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, hold on. I forgot, I forgot. Sword of the Sun. <laughs> that, that helps a lot. <laughs> okay, Sword of the Sun, there you go. Now, whoa, whoa. So yeah, you can see the beacon. Yup, uh-huh, uh-huh. That's what it does, basically, is it gives you that extra bit of sunlight, even in the darkness where you would normally be able to draw sunlight. Now, I got another annoying Colossus coming up next in the form of Barba. You know, the ape-like one. So, I probably shouldn't do it this part. <laughs> Just to, for the sake of safety. Because this one could be very much like Phaedra, and that it could take me 40 minutes, if not more. <laughs> so with that, I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next parts.